Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple SVG file in Affinity Designer. I will also cover how to export the file so that the size dimensions stay the same when you open it in Cricut Design Space. We will begin by creating a new document in Affinity Designer and I like to set mine up to be 12 inches by 12 inches because that's the size of a Cricut mat. Um, and then the DPI, Affinity Designer will automatically default this to 300. However, you will want to change it down to 72. If you leave it at 300, you will still need to change it down when you go ahead and export the SVG file. So you can take care of it now or you can do this at the end. Um, and then also for the document units, I'm going to be using inches. Once that's created, I want to make a cursive text SVG. So I'm going to go ahead and select the um, text tool and I'm going to use the word coffee. And I would like to make it in, a, like I said, a cursive font. So I'm gonna find one that I like. Then I'm going to adjust um, the width of this. I want it to remain at six inches, so that's what I'm gonna make it. So now that's done. And basically you can stop here. However, um, this, this coffee is still a text, it's not, considered a vector. So what that means is when you go to export this, it will cut each letter individually. And I want it to cut as one. So I'm gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna leave that copy on top as an example. And then the second one, I'm gonna to change to pink. And this one, I'm gonna want it to cut as one unit. So to do that, I need to convert this text into curves. So I'm going to go to the Convert to Curves button. And once I select it, it, as you can see, it has grouped all the letters together. I need to ungroup those. And then I'm going to add them together as one piece. So right here, um, if you don't add them, it's still going to cut these letters individually. But by adding them, it will cut them as one piece. So there you go, um, basically that is done. So the first one on top is going to cut individually each letter and then the pink one will be cut as one unit. So we can go ahead and export this. You're gonna go to File, Export, select the SVG tab, um, Raster DPI, you ignore, we're not rasterizing anything, this is all vector, so that can be as is and then what we want to select is export text as curves for font independence and then the other two things we need to do is we need to go to more and there are two things in here that we have to um, alter so that we keep the size of the coffee so, so if you would recall the width of the coffee i want it to stay at six inches when i open it up in Cricut design space so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that DPI is 72. When I set up the document, I set it up at 72. If you left it at 300, you're gonna to wanna to select this option, use DPI, and you wanna adjust it to 72. But since this document is already in 72 DPI, I'm gonna go ahead and use just the first option, use document resolution. The second item on here that we need to do is we need to make sure that set view box is unchecked. And then we're good to go. So we're going to close and we're going to go ahead and export this into Cricut Design Space. Open up Cricut Design Space and go fetch that file. There it is. Open. Boom. Looks good. Upload it. All right, there we go. And as you can see, we got the two pieces. Let's ungroup those. And if you see the black, it's going to cut each of those letters individually. And the pink, it will cut as one. And if you pay attention to the size, um, the size stay the same. It's still six inches wide how we wanted it. So that's the difference between still keeping the text. It's not going to cut in one piece, it's gonna cut each letter individually and then converting it to a curve, it will cut it as one unit. 
So let's do another example of maybe adding a little bit more of an element to this. So I want to add a shape. I want to make an SVG with a shape. So I'm going to do a heart. And I'm going to make it pink-ish. And make it a little bit bigger. And I want it to be about 8 inches wide. And then I want coffee to be in the center. So I'm going to select both coffee and the heart. And I'm going to center it horizontally as well as vertically. And then I'm going to want to have both elements. So I'm going to have the element of the heart and then the word coffee. So for that, I'm going to have to copy the coffee. So this coffee is going to stay as one piece and then I want this other coffee and the heart to be cut out. So I'm going to select both of those and then do the minus. So now I have the coffee heart and then I have this one. So when I go to cut it or when it's cut and I go to put it together, I want it to be like that. So we can go ahead and we'll just hide this one and I only want to export the new file. So then we're going to export, um, make sure the box is checked for export text as curves for font independence. Double check your DPI. Our document is set up at 72. If your document is any other uh, amount, make sure it is at 72. Then make sure that that view box is unchecked and you're all set to upload. As you can see, it uploaded the way I wanted, but the size is still eight inches wide, so it did not change. Um, if you like this kind of tutorial using Affinity Designer and Cricut, um, please like the video and also leave any comments you may have or questions below. And until next time. Mm -hmm.